Good evening. I am a couple minutes early, but that's always a good thing. Take a little sip of water. Let's get you guys on here. Thanks so much for having me share tonight. I am excited. I know it's Friday night. Is anyone, anyone going to show up and be on? I'm just checking the volume. Please, Kelly Smith. Well, there you are, girlfriend. Hello, hello, hello. What I'd love for you to do when you come on is please shout out where you are watching from. Woo! Hi, Abby. I just talked to you too. Oh, so good to see you guys. I think this is going to be really fun and super inspirational. I'm really hoping. And um, yeah, so tell me where you're watching from before we get started. Woohoo! Newcastle Pencil. All right, Jenny. Jenny, you're so cute. Hi, Kaylee. Hello, Lori from North Carolina. This is awesome. Yes, I'm running warm here today in Southern California. It's kind of a hot one, that's for sure. All right, well, without further ado, let's get started. Ah, I know that Chicago, is it sticky and rainy today, my friend, or you have sun and humidity? One or the other, right, Ab? Um, hello, hello from New York. I follow the leaders. I love that about you, Jay. Honestly, you always have the sweetest things to say. And I know this. Thank you for commenting and, whoo, hi Alicia. Hello, hello. All right, so let's get started. Enough of this rambling on. My name is Wendy Heath Newgas, and I'm an emotional person. Um, I always cry. So I'm just gonna tell you that right away. I am so thankful. Today is my 12th year anniversary. I know, right? I'm old. <laughs> it's a crazy month. I'm going to be 57 at the end of the month in my 12th anniversary with Sensi. It is by far the best thing that's ever happened to me in my, in my, um, in my life. Sensi. Oh, so exciting. So exciting. But tonight it's about you. I don't want to say anything else about me. I live in Southern California. My team name is the OC Sense Family of Teams. It's an amazing group of men and women who just share and love and care. And that's what it's all about. It's that amazing, amazing culture that we have in our team. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that as well today. So shout out to Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. I saw she was doing the program and I got a personal message that said, I don't know if you're going to do the program, but you're going to be in here speaking and training. Okay. What Jamie says, Wendy does. Um, super excited. But tonight, oh, grab a pen and paper. I'm going to take you on this journey. I have notes all around this light ring. So if I'm looking down, I don't want to miss an opportunity or be able to share. Hi, June Bug. I don't want to miss something that I can honestly share with you. So I take these trainings serious and I have, like I said, big, huge light ring with all my stuff. Okay. So Thank you again, Jamie, for this wonderful opportunity. I love that I can share this on YouTube and others can get the benefit and the value of um, maybe some words that I'm sharing or an inspiration that they share underneath here. So, hi, Kathy. Yay, you made it. Woohoo. Okay, so tonight I'm going to go through, I'm going to take this through in like 30 minutes if I can. I think the volume is good. I know one said anything. I'm just going to get started. So, Right now, tonight, I want to take you through the seven secrets of being your CIO, your CIO of your business and your life. Yep, I want you to be the Chief Inspiration Officer, CIO. How fun is that, right? Not just fun, it's so important in this time. With everything we've gone through this past year, some of us are having to dig a little deeper, find that motivation. I want to share some amazing things that, have, that I've got written down on here. I want to share my inspiration. I want to share how to rally for yourself. I want to share how to get you up and get you going. Oh, sometimes you got to rally to feel better about everything. So tonight we are going to become 
have seven secrets with the CIO of your business, the Chief Inspirational Officer. Seven secrets that will help you craft, deliver your message, right? And your vision, along with your values. Because to me, it is so important to have really good values. Because remember, like my shirt says, I know it's backwards, good things are coming. You know why I put this on? Because it kind of got me a little pumped up before I came up here. I was not wearing this shirt today. So I chose this to, to, to feel good. And as you hear me talk later, you'll hear that that's important as well. Woohoo! Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay. You can't do this business alone. You've got to have teammates, customers, clients, family, supportive spouse, people behind you to back you up. What I love about this group is the accountability and that you guys have accountability partners. If you've got someone that you can call and text when you're having an off day or you want to shout out and you want to share something exciting, always have an accountability partner or a couple accountability partners. If you don't, find one. Because in those times and in those days when you're not feeling super enthusiastic, guess what? It'll happen. If you've got someone who'll help lift each other. You lift her, she lifts you, you lift him, he lifts you, whoever this person is in your life. It is so important to have somebody in your corner. It could be one, it could be five. Keep it small, keep it tight, keep your inner circle really, really tight. So you know you can't do this business without. So right now tonight, I'm going to teach you how to be the magnetic leader that you want to be. Whether you're a leader or you're a beginner, all of this pertains to your business and your life. I promise, I promise. Okay, so the seven secrets. Number one, woohoo, you ready? I, I'm not gonna cry, I'm just feeling it today. I, I'm so sorry. I truly, it's the anniversary, I'm sure. Number one is you need to ignite your enthusiasm. Successful people, Yep, successful people mm, find that enthusiasm deep down inside because they know enthusiasm is infectious. And if you can't find that, I need you right now to find that fire right here in your heart. What is it that you feel good about in your Scentsy business? What excites you in your Scentsy business? Write it down right now. I'm going to wait a sec. I'm going to see what you have to say. Tell me what... What excites you about your business? What part of it excites you? I'm going to wait a sec. Because seriously, enthusiasm is infectious. You can inspire yourself with this enthusiasm before going live, right? You've got a live to do and you're thinking, uh-oh, ah, the nerves kick in. Before I went live here tonight, guess what? I felt something. <laughs> oh, you're so cute, Kaylee. I felt in my heart Oh, I'm like, can I do this? Do I know this training I just wrote two hours ago well enough? But you do it anyway. You show up and you just plot up products and blessing others. Absolutely, Jenny, connecting with my customers. So if that's your happy place, hi, Jamie, the recognitions and goals are in atmosphere. Okay, see, recognition. Are you seeing all the different aspects? So when you need to find that enthusiasm, think of that. Jamie, go for the recognition. Go for that goal that you reached because it made you feel good. You're like, I needed to hit level three of the incentive, and I did. So that gets you going, and that gets you excite, excited about your sensei business and about life. So enthusiasm infectious, and number one, First and foremost is ignite your enthusiasm. I had to look at the number. I know, right? So before you go live and before you get out there, make a phone call to a customer, maybe text somebody, maybe you're reaching out to somebody to join your team. Rally, rally guys. Think about what gets you excited about your business before you talk. All the nerves will calm down and it's just so amazing. I get excited to share the wonderful products with my customer. That's right. It's, it's the products that started us most likely in this business. That's where it happened. So always remember that really good, happy place. I'm going to share with you something right now. So let me read this little quote to you. Remember, people buy from who they like and know and trust. So they've got to like you. They've got to know you a little bit and they got to trust you. 
So um, enthusiasm separates the average performers from the extraordinary leaders. I'm going to say that again. Enthusiasm separates your average performers from your extraordinary leaders. It really is that enthusiasm. Whether you've got to dig deep or you just find it, do you know what I do when I need to get pumped up a little bit? Well, I could do coffee, but I don't do it. Thank the Lord for that. I could do sugar. I do like my gummy bears. But you know what I do? I honestly open up a bar, don't laugh, of Blue Grotto. You know why? When I smell this scent, do you know what it does? It takes me back to the Mediterranean cruise in those turquoise blue waters on the island of Capri. Yes, and the island of Capri, the waters in the Blue Grotto were this color. It was the most magical place. So this scent takes me back there. Whoa, what did I just do? Did you feel it? Did you see? Blue Grotto was your jam too. I know, it's, it's like my happy scent. Ooh, I'm jumping around here a little bit. It's my happy scent. So this is maybe your rally scent. Maybe before you go live, before you call a customer, before you close a deal, before you get someone to join your team, find your happy scent. Smell it. It just might change your whole inner, inner feelings, right? It's going to give you that enthusiasm that you need. All right, all right. Okay, so number two, navigate the way. How do you navigate the way? Hmm. I love Blue Grotto. I'm watching what you guys are saying. Um, enthusiasm really opens the door. The vision is what grabs hold of your customers, right? The vision that the vision that I just shared about this, it makes people say, wait, I need to try Blue Grotto if that's her happy scent. Help them find their happy scent as well. So enthusiasm is going to open the door, but it's that vision that's going to grab them. It's going to pull your customers in. Yes, so you want to deliver this amazing content, this memorable vision, right? I can't stop smelling, right? And you want to share your products, but most importantly, share your experience with the products. To be impactful, your vision must be simple yet profound, right? What is this vision you're trying to share? Woo! Your words should articulate things like, I can see the turquoise waters, right? Yes, yes. It should be this beautiful picture that helps your audience understand what your products are about, for sure. I'm going to give you a mental picture right now, too. You're going to laugh. You're going to laugh at this. But when I need to talk, and I'm, gonna, I'm navigating my way, of course, right now through this enthusiasm. But when I have somebody at my event and they come up to the table and, you know, we're kind of talking about what scents they like, whatever it is, um, I try to do something funny. And, all right, I always try to give them a compliment. I try to connect. So sometimes I get this funny little feeling and I'll go grab Mystery Man and I say, all right, ladies, come over here. And I kind of gather the people around my table and I say, you want to smell a hot guy getting out of the shower? Are you ready? Close your eyes. And they close their eyes. I give it a little rub and I put Mystery Man underneath their nose. The instant smile that comes to their face completely changes the way they think about that scent. Almost every time one or so buys that scent as well. But again, I created a picture. That visual was a hot guy getting out of the shower. I don't know what that hot guy and what a hot guy looks like to them because everybody has their own hot guy. But just remember, our sense, our lives really paint a picture and create a vision that we can navigate our way through. I'm sorry, Kaylee. I know. Here I am talking about hot guys. Number three, you want to sell and you want to share the benefit I'm going to tell you right now, guys, we've got one of the best products coming August 1st, our air purifier. Now, I haven't read and I don't know all the correct language. I will before I get out the door and start selling it on August 1st. But I'll tell you what, educate yourself. Learn what that product is about. Number two, listen to what I'm saying. When people have air purifiers, it takes things out of their home. And that's what they do, the air purifiers. So it takes out, I'm not going to say the certain words because I don't know the exact lingo, I'm being honest. So it takes something out. But with Sensi, we give the, the pods inside that's also going to put the scent out there. 
My son told me that he has an air purifier in his room. He goes, Mom, it takes all the scentsy wax smell away. I'm like, oh, wow, that's not very good, but our air purifier. So when you talk about this, you're going to share and sell the benefits of what this amazing product does. So don't just say what else it does. It takes out the toxins, but it puts this amazing scent from our pods into the air. So when you share the benefit, how it can improve their life, people are always like, hey, what's in it for me? We call it the WIFM. W-I-F-M. People always want to know what's in it for me. Well, what am I going to get from this? It's going to be a health benefit. Is it going to make your house smell great? Absolutely, it's going to make everything smell good. And it's healthy. And it's so many, uh, see, I don't know enough about the pure air purifier, so I'm not even going to go there. I don't want to be quoted saying the wrong thing. So you want to explain a problem and offer a solution. When you share and sell the benefits, I always say this. So, did you know the first thing people notice when they walk into your home is how it smells? Because that, every single time I share, I'm selling and sharing the benefit. Because I say our products are totally different. You can change your wax before your friend comes. Your house can be a mess. But the second they walk into that door and they smell that scentsy greatness, it completely changes their whole mood and they're like, oh, your house is awesome. Who cares if there's dirty clothes in the corner? As long as it smells good, that's all that matters, 100%. So remember, you wanna have offer a solution so as you share and sell the benefit, um, oh, here's another one, I had to look at my notes here, laundry products. Oh. What I do when I sell laundry is I explain to them Oh my gosh, here's a little sample. I always give them a wash and whip sample. I say, you need to text me tomorrow and let me know. If you could do it tomorrow or the next day, go home, wash your sheets. When you get in bed that night and you pull those sheets up and you smell it, oh my gosh, jammy time is my scent, it's life. I'm telling you right now. So amazing, amazing, amazing jammy time. Plus, it makes the whole entire washing machine, the washing machine drum smell good as well. So what I did was I, sh I sold the benefits of the product and how great the washer was make my sheets smell, my clothes smell, but I also talked about the washing machine because instead of a musty old washing machine, so again, do you see what you do? You explain the problem, things that are happening, and offer a solution. Number three, to be the CIO of your business, you want to share and sell the benefits. Number four, paint a picture. That's right, for all the towels and sheets. Are you a jammy time girl too? Hers is lavender cotton. Hi, Michelle Rodriguez. <laughs> Makes you fall right asleep. I can't stop smelling this. See, I'm obsessed. That's for sure. Number four of the chief inspiration officer of your business. You want to paint a picture. Inspiring people sell themselves, their visions, their values by turning their messages, super important, into a story that emotionally connects with them. You think the laundry might emotionally connect with them? Right? People will always forget what you said, but they're never going to forget the way you made them feel. So the amazing thing about this is make people feel special. Make them feel, oh gosh, I, I'm not going to cry. I'm so sorry. Times are hard. We're all coming out of a scary year last year and um, things are still happening. I know here in LA, I just heard there's a 100% mask mandate. I don't know if that's true or not, but I haven't even read it. But all I'm telling you is times are tough. We need to connect with people and make people feel good. You need to be enthusiastic. Find something. Find something good in your day. Find something good about your business and just share it. Just get out there and share it. You don't know how many people need you today. 100%. So remember, people are never going to remember what you said, but they're always going to remember the way you made them feel. 100%. Okay, so number four was painting a picture, right, by using this, their visions and your values and your storytelling, right, to share your products. Mm, 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 mm. Number five, invite people to participate. They want to feel important. People want to feel special. They want to feel important. Most importantly, they want to feel included. Did you know that God gave you two ears and one mouth? Oh. 
really? Two ears and one mouth. Hey, use it accordingly, people. Guess what? You should listen more and yap less. I think you're going to be a really good person and a really good salesperson and a really good person in life, a really good human being if you sit back and listen a little more. I got to take a lesson from that as well. I have a tendency to get gabby. When people ask about the opportunity, I go la 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 la. You diarrhea of the mouth. We don't need to do that anymore. No, no, 100%. Two ears and one mouth. I have to stop. Do you guys see that? I'm like really bad. Number six, reinforce oh, an, opt an optimistic outlook. Why do we need to reinforce an optimistic outlook? You guys got to hear this. Inspiring people see optimism in everything. They do. Whether there's five things that are wrong, they're going to find the one thing that is right. I want you to wake up tomorrow and no matter what happens the first thing in the morning, find the best thing, oh, one thing that's right for the day. Instead of scrolling through social media and comparing yourself to everybody else, oh, she looks really cute in that bathing suit. Oh, she's on vacation. Oh, she's this, she's that. Stop. Find something that inspires you to pop out of bed in the morning. That's what my Scentsy business does. Yes, I can't wait to talk and share. I couldn't wait for this live tonight. I said, I need to change lives while making the world smell better. I need to make you guys understand how important enthusiasm is, how important inspiring other people is, because that's the difference it sets you out between other people in your business. Boom. So reinforce an optimism, uh, optimistic outlook at all times. Um, it also builds confidence and help possibility. I'm going to read you a quote right now. This is from Oprah Winfrey. Hold on to your dreams and believe in them because you only become what you believe. One more time. Hold on to your dreams and believe in them because you only become what you believe. Oprah Winfrey. She's amazing and has always, oh, always had really good, beautiful things to talk about. And number seven for our secrets of being the CIO of our business is encourage their potential. Whether it's a customer that you say, take a flower to work, tell me how it is. Did you know that something as simple as gifting somebody a free product can change their life and yours? Chances are they could end up on your team and be the best person you've got. Never underestimate the value of encouragement, unlocking other people's potential, and feeling emotionally connected to each and every person in your life. Complete difference. 100%, huh? Thank you, Jenny. Yes, 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 yes. Um, whew, I get so crazy emotional, these darn things. All right, last thing I want to talk about is, whew, yes, I just shared with my team. They said they were in a funk. You know, that's what I think a lot of people are in this funk right now. And they're like, oh, I'm in a rut. It, that maybe sensing world has slowed down a tiny bit. I can actually breathe right now. I don't know about you but I can actually breathe and I feel like whew, I can do all kinds of things because I actually have a minute. This past year and a half, I haven't even sat down and stopped and had a minute to breathe. It's like, it's kind of refreshing. So what I want to do is I want to come back and I want to take a look and I want to look at the inspiration. What can I do for other people? How can I make people feel good about themselves again? How can you, and if you can't do it, pick up a scent. I'm going to give you one more visual that works for me. You're going to laugh. But, yes, I told them it's time for us to play catch up. That's right. That's what I feel like. You're going to laugh. But this fragrance mist, look, I'm running warm right now. This is an instant cooling agent. That's what I call it. An instant cooling agent. I'm at the beach. I always have this bottle out. And people are, like, kind of warm and at the beach. And I give them a little spray. Before you know it, they're like, ooh, that is refreshing works every time. Why? Because I am sharing the experience. I'm painting a picture how it's going to instantly cool them down. That is how you inspire people. That is how you change your beliefs. And that most importantly, guys, life's too short. Yeah. You got to pull people in. 
You gotta share, you've gotta give, and you've gotta love, 100%. Are you, right now, today, gonna rally before you go live? Are you gonna rally before your next event? You're gonna rally before you do your next Facebook party? Are you gonna smell a scent? Are you gonna drink some coffee? Are you gonna think about your happy place? What makes you happy? What brings you joy in your sensey business? When you're down, that's what you need to do. Because most importantly, when you're struggling, don't put your kit down. That is exactly when you pick up your kit and you pick up your heart and you just do big things. I believe in you 100%. Ooh, I never thought about sharing a favorite in Smiths like that. Oh, you're so cute, Lori. Thank you, thank you. Um, so tonight, my job was to make you, help you believe in yourself. Help you be an inspiration, not only to other people in your life, sometimes you need to inspire yourself. We can do this, we can do big things, we can pick up our, oh, we can pick up our Scentsy kit, we can go back to basics, think about what you did in the beginning. If you're struggling in your Scentsy business, think about what you did in the beginning, right? What like this program is doing right now, it's going back to basics, doing consistent things every single day that make a difference in your life. Remember, you are in charge of your happiness. No one else. How you let things affect you has a direct reflection on your business. You could have been like, oh wow, that sold out, and now you're all sad, and now you didn't get these products. Or you can say like, I need to offer a solution because this sold out, I'm going to sell this, maybe at a special price, to take care of the customers that thought they were going to get a product. There's always a solution and an answer to everything you do in your life. It depends how you look at it. Do you see the glass? Michelle said half full. Do you see the glass half empty? How do you see it? Okay, I just watched chat, so you said it matters most when you don't want to. Yep, yep. And I'm talking to some of you on here right now. I know you need this. Pick up your kit. Find a bar of wax that makes you happy. Spray some fragrance mist on you. Make a call to someone who you know loves Scentsy. Get on the phone. Do a FaceTime. Let's connect. Meet somebody for coffee. Share the new scents. Team, guys. Our 10 brand new scents are to die for. They're like the best 10 new scents I think that have ever come out of a catalog. So are you sharing that? Are you feeling that excitement? Of course, right now, everything's on sale, so we're working on that, but it's never too late to start getting ready for fall. I am fall prepping all the way. All right, my last smell. Do you see? It's really, it's really bad. Anyway, my thoughts for you today, I'm going to give you these seven secrets one more time. I'm going to run through the numbers just so you don't forget. Oh, oh the CIO of your business. You are the chief inspirational officer of your business, of your life. You have all the choices. Number one, um, ignite your enthusiasm. Number two, navigate the way, right? Number three, share and sell the benefit of our products and the benefit of what they do. Number four, paint a picture. Talk about that hot guy getting out of the shower or how that fragrance mist cools you down. Definitely, when you talk about it like that, it just changes the whole feel, doesn't it? Number five, invite participation. You know what I could say you could do? Invite a couple people over your house and say, I wanna know your opinions on these 10 new scents. Hmm. Just ask them for their opinions, invite them over. Right? Meet them at their house, meet them for coffee. Have nothing more with the intention but asking them what they think of the 10 new cents. You want their opinion. Watch what happens, right? Watch what happens with that. Number six, reinforce this optimistic outlook in your life. It does make a difference. Even when I'm down, I find a way. I am so good at doing that. Pull from inside. Find that joy. It'll make a difference. And number seven, encourage the potential. Encourage the people around you. Encourage your customers, your teammates. Sometimes that encouragement has to come back home to yourself. When you wake up tomorrow, say, I can do this. I believe in myself. That is all for tonight, guys. I 
fully love you. Thank you, Jamie, for having me come on. It was so just some inspiration I wanted to share tonight. I'll be back if you guys want me to, because I just love to share. Have a wonderful evening. I hope this brings you value, most importantly, because as an Enneagram 3 wing 2, if you know what that means, I have to bring value. That's how I roll. Thanks so much, guys, and have a beautiful evening. I love you with all my heart. Bye.